In this video, we're going to discuss about velocity banking and infinite banking to pay off your mortgage, say faster or sooner or more efficiently. And if that even makes sense, according to your personal finances. So I'm going to be answering a question from one of you that have completed my contact form in the past. And every now and then I will make videos just like this where I answer that one person specific question. Hopefully it can help a multitude of people in the right direction, make you help you make better financial decisions before working with someone like myself or anyone on the internet, right? My goal first, before you even pay me any dollar amount at all, is I want to help you keep more of the money you already make, help you make better financial decisions, get the education in front of you, the strategies, the concepts, get you in a really, really healthy financial position before you even pay me a dollar. This way you have that trust built, we have that relationship, and we can go uh, extremely fast when we actually start working together. So shout out to Dora for reaching out. 60 years old, married. We are making on average about $3,400. I'm assuming that's just her income, not husband's. We spend about $3,200 a month. So what does that leave us with? A net cash flow of only $200 a month, the age of 60. Not cute, right? Not too pretty. Credit score is around six to 720. We're saving about $100 a month and they give about $100 a month, okay? They do not have a business or she does not have a business. Don't know what husband does. She does not have a business. She's a homemaker. And her question is advice on a home equity line of credit in terms of how to buy a policy, a life insurance policy, specifically a high cash value one preferably, to pay off a mortgage at $152,000. The monthly payment is $1,700 a month. Her other question is how much for advice? she's in much need of good advice on finances. So let me be perfectly clear. I do not give financial advice. I'm not a licensed financial advisor or certified financial planner. So therefore, I simply will coach people by helping you make a better decision of your own personal finances based on the education that you and I both learn together. I do consulting, I do counseling, right? I work in the kingdom as an ecclesiastical financial counselor in commercial jurisdiction, I'm a financial consultant, coach, and strategist. Been doing that for the last five years really, really well, helping a lot of people, right? So again, I don't give advice. I like to simply get on a phone call with you. Let's run the numbers. Let's, let's evaluate the options, and then you make the final decision. What do you want to do with your finances based on the knowledge and wisdom that you've just received in this phone call or over, to, over a multitude of phone calls? So when I'm seeing numbers, low income and low cash flow, I immediately have no interest in having any of you pay me any money whatsoever, okay? It costs $275 an hour to work with me. And then I have my full coaching program, which is $2,750. As of right now, these are 2023 pricing, right? That will go up in 2024. I have no desire whatsoever to work with people that have low income, negative cash flow, low cash, zero cash flow, break even, poor discipline. I have no desire to receive your money. I would rather you spend the time and effort to go through all of the free things that I have to offer you to get you in a better position. And then I have a ministry of finance called Finance Geek Ministry, which takes the next step in terms of how you can work with me for free in exchange for your social currency for your time and effort. So we're both exchanging for like kind value. It's super important. I need to know you have your money in line first before we start making big investments based on ridiculous claims that maybe people make on the internet, right? Including myself. I always throw myself into it because look, the reality is that I may say things that are big think, but if I'm talking to a small thinker that hasn't been around people that are also thinking big and you want to go from thinking small to thinking big, I think there's a process there. And sometimes we can get lost in the clouds. So I like to provide that transparency where it's like, look, I, I want to meet you where you're at first before I fire hose you with a ton of information that could dramatically change your life. And again, it's a measuring thing. Certain people have a very, very quick paradigm shift. Others, it takes years and years and years before that shift can occur, right? So I don't want to prematurely give you a strategy that could potentially 
accelerate your life tremendously, but then you have no idea how to handle that. What's the point of winning the lottery, getting millions of dollars if you're just going to go bankrupt in five years? You would have been better off not getting the money. Does that make sense? So it's super, super important. So with Dora here, I don't think it is wise to even consider the home equity line of credit and pairing that with a whole life high cash value policy and and borrowing from here to fund your policy, to borrow out of the policy, to pay off your home. That is a very complex strategy with multiple levers that you're pulling. We're talking leverage, we're talking risk, we're talking borrowing, we're talking interest costs, we're talking flow, velocity of money. It's a lot going on there. We're 60 years old, right? So if you make a big mistake now, it's not like we're 20 years old where we can make a mistake and recover a lot quicker than being 60 years old and make a mistake, right? So that's another thing I'm being conscious and aware of is our our age, the, the current environment, current mindset you currently have at the age of 60. I definitely want to first get to know you more and, and ask you questions like, you know, what is it that you want for your life? Do you want to just be comfortable? Do you want to just be able to pay all your bills and send a couple dollars to the church and a couple dollars to, to kids? Is that all you want? Very small thinking. Or are you like, Denzel, I'm 60 years old. I feel like I'm 30. I'm ready to go for another 30 years. I'm ready to build a business. I'm ready to impact millions of lives on this planet before I leave earth. I'm ready to explode in the gifts, skills, and talents that God gave me. I'm ready to 10x, right? If you have that kind of a mindset, then we can build towards that. If you don't have that mindset, I think there are other things that need to happen before we can have the paradigm shift. So my not advice, my unsolicited guidance here, my if I'm in your shoes, in your position, again, I don't know much about you, but I know that all you give is $100 a month and all you save is $100 a month and all we make is $3,400 a month. I don't think we're in any position whatsoever to go and acquire a home equity line of credit to borrow from that, to throw into a policy that's going to earn you a negative rate of return for the first two years, and then you're only going to be at a positive internal rate of return of less than 1%. It's going to take five years before you get to a positive net internal rate of return of 1% to 2%, and then another three, four years before it gets up to the 3 and 4% range. By then, I'm 67, 68 years old. I, I don't see the value in that. What's the alternative? Should I just send my extra... $200 in cash flow per month towards a mortgage, I wouldn't do that as well. I wouldn't do that either, right? I I honestly, at 60 years old, I would be so focused on what is my purpose on this planet and how can I convert that purpose into a business that serves a lot of people in a short period of time to bring abundance into my life, to create cash flow, create financial independence within seven to 10 years, right? And I think that's a very good timeline. So what what can we do at 60 years old within the next seven to 10 years by age 70 or sooner? Not only can we potentially achieve financial independence, we have enough money coming in passively to cover all your costs of living. And we're also impacting according to your purpose, right? And we're creating cash flow vehicles that can not only help us, you know, say you still want to, you know, become completely debt free, cool, or leverage, cool. Right At 60 years old, I also don't know what your health is like. We may not even qualify for a life insurance policy. That's another thing you want to keep in mind. Maybe we leverage husband or kids, someone who might be healthier, younger. Right, That's only if you didn't qualify. Not to say you won't, Right, but if. So that's what's coming in. That's what I'm seeing so far with the limited information that, I, that I've received. And hopefully for those of you who are also in your late 50s and 60s, hopefully you're not running out of gas. Hopefully you have the 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 energy, the, the, the mindset to really think big. And here's a book you ought to read by a gentleman named Dan Sullivan it says why 10x is easier than 2x and understanding like how to achieve more by by doing less. Right? How to use this at 60 years old, at 55 years old. I promise you, this body is not going to be as effective as their mind. So if we can if we can learn to do the hardest work, which is to think. Thinking is the hardest work that most people will never do. And we think working hard with our body is the answer. And it can be in certain situations. It absolutely can be athletically. And we're talking competition if we're talking grind. But it's not sustainable. How many athletes do you know at you know, at, at 
60, 70, 80, 90 are still playing for the NFL or the NBA. It's just, it's, that's not the case. So in your grinding, hard working years, obviously we want to put the pressure. We want to work with all our might. You should work with all your might. Nothing wrong with it. But to think that that is the only lever to pull, that's the only solution, you're going to work until you die. And I don't know how much you'll have to show for versus your brain. We continue to get wiser and wiser and wiser throughout the years. If we can use our brain to create value in the marketplace, create systems, create automation, create delegation, create opportunity for others to work with us on our purpose, on our vision, to help even more people achieve a result, I think we can get paid abundantly. I think we could potentially 10x in a seven to 10 year time frame and live the life that you want to live. So we'll close it out there. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. If you'd like to work with me one-to-one, get your finances in order, or any one of my partners, you can check out the resources in the links below. Do your due diligence. Have a wonderful day, and we'll be talking soon.